Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elaine with another video talking about my instant pot. Let me pick her up so you can see. She got a little heavy, but she gets the job done. So I figured we would make something different today. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we're getting ready to make some boiled eggs in here. And you, this basically is to say that there are so many things that you can make or prepare prep uh that's going to save you time uh get you away from the stove i'm totally not even in my kitchen right now and i'm happy about it okay so let's get focused on this instant pot it's already on as you can see it's blinking this is my new one i still have the other one but i'm so excited to be using this let's get busy we've got eggs uh these are large just some large eggs and we're going to take the top off you're going to hear that music that's just letting you know that there's activity with the lid everything's good there um you most of them i believe come with a trivet this one you can either put in this way upside down which keeps stuff out of the liquid or this way where it's just separating it a little bit from the liquid okay so i have a six quart instant pot and i want to make sure you guys can see it it's six quart and i'm using my trivet upside down this way so that i can just place the eggs on it if you have an egg holder that goes with your instant pot that's great whatever um you could use different little pieces you could pick up but it's not necessary you have a little cup that comes with this container. This is a condensation catch, like a little condensation cup, just for anything that falls out of the back. So we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna place that cup right there. Make sure you check that cup when you're done and just make sure that it's clean and ready for the next go around. Because there's so many things that you can do with this instant pot, which is exciting. Also, always remember to put your liner in you don't want to cook anything inside the actual pot remember what i said before it's like a crock pot you're not going to cook in the actual part that main base you're using your glass dish which goes inside so let's get that in we got the trivet on i'm going to use one cup of water i just pour it in there and as I said, I took my eggs out a few minutes ago. You don't have to do that. I believe you can go straight from the refrigerator to the Instant Pot because I've done it before. But this time, I just took them out a little bit earlier. But you're going to go ahead and start placing your eggs right on the trivet. Just like that. And I'm thinking about six of them. Because we like to eat them boiled. Uh, I can make a little... I might even put a couple more in there. Because I... Well, that trivet is too big. Uh, in the circle, that's too big. So, I'm hoping... No. Because this trivet is different than my other trivet. I don't want to push that button. Okay, so I have my eggs in there. They're all lined up. I got my cup of water. Now, we're going to put the lid on. And that's the other trick. You got to line it up. Then you want to turn it till it locks. Now you're going to take your nozzle and make sure you're on sealing and not venting. Or you're going to make a bunch of noise the whole time. It's trying to pressurize and you're not going to get the result that you want. So as far as boiling these eggs, we're going to use the 555 measure. Five minutes pressurized cooking. So what we're going to do is some people have a manual button. Some people have a pressure button i have a manual button it's right there okay and then you adjust it with the plus minus and we're just going to go for five minutes and please remember it sometimes it takes this is five minutes you can see it takes that long sometimes for it to pressurize so it's not like you're just rushing the food you're really not it takes a certain amount of time to pressurize and it takes a certain amount of time for it to cool to cook and then a certain amount of time for it to cool depending on what you're cooking but this time, we're doing the 555 method. So it's going to take this a couple minutes to pressurize. I did use um, cold water from the tap. You don't have to get it from your refrigerator, but it's better if you have cold water. This is all part of the 555 method or whatever timing you're using. 
But since I'm only doing six eggs, I think five, five, five is going to be perfect for me. All right. So you'll see it's still warming up. It hasn't even begun to pressurize yet. And then the five minutes will kick in. So I'll see you in five. Okay, guys, we're back. The five minutes has uh, passed as far as it being pressurized. So now we're getting to the point where it just says OH. Basically, it's a way of saying that it's done, but it's still on. So with the other one, it's L and it'll start counting up. So I just put my timer on my phone so that I can still give it the... Uh, five minutes that it needs to settle because it's five minutes to cook it's five minutes to settle and five minutes in an ice bath and that's what we're doing now we're just letting it settle i'm going to get something so that i can release that pressure one second Okay, so now this is the other part of what we're going to be doing. We're going to have, I have a little bit of ice water here. Ice water is going to be the final component to the egg situation. So you say, okay, it still takes 15 minutes. I could have did this on the stove, which is true. But if you, let's say you needed to boil some eggs so that you can make some egg salad or some deviled eggs or or just to eat them, but you have to run out. It's better if you go put it on a timer, okay? And it stops cooking past a certain time. It might just stay warm, but it stops actually cooking. So you're not dealing with the stove and you ran to the store and the line is around the bin or you had to go to a different store because this one is closed or this one doesn't have the eggs. Whatever your scenario may be that may cause you, I don't believe in leaving anything cooking on the stove. That's me personally. I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just saying for me, my peace of mind, I would rather throw it in my Instant Pot, put it on a set time, it was doing the 555, 777, whatever it is that you're comfortable with or how you like your eggs to be. My point is don't leave anything cooking on the stove because your time away from that stove, away from the house, might be longer than you anticipate. And it's better safe than sorry because at least with this, it'll just cut off, well, it'll stop cooking, and it'll just stay warm. That's the most your scenario will be. Of course, I, I, you don't want to overdo the eggs and you don't want to underdo the eggs. That's why we're doing the 555. But your method might be 777. Seven, seven. It might be a different count. 666. Six, six. It all depends. Oh, excuse me. The 666. Six, six. I like 777. Seven, seven. I like 555 five, five as your minimal base timing. But when you cook your eggs and you feel like, oh, they could have cooked a little bit longer, then change the time. Adjust it to your preference. Nothing is written in stone. Whatever you do is practice makes perfect. This time it might be five, five, five. Next time it might be seven, 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 seven minutes to cook, seven minutes to cool, seven minutes in your ice bath. And here's the ice bath. You're just putting some ice in some cold water, and that way it's going to solidify what hasn't been done here. Because now you're going to eliminate the heat. Uh, I have about 18 seconds left on here. I put my timer on because this is my new Instapot. So it behaves differently. Once I've passed the cook stage, it basically just letting me know that it's still on, but it's not counting physically. So I put my timer on. Well, my other one, which you'll see when we make different things, there's my timer. When we make different things, you'll see that. Uh oh, I thought I cut it off. Anyway, there you go. Okay, so now these five minutes has cooked. Five minutes has settled and it's still full of pressure this is important you guys need to know this and what i always will do is turn my machine away from me that's the first thing because when you go from sealing to venting it's a lot of steam so i'm going to move it over a little bit so you can get the gist but i am back here always always be away from it and don't use a towel because i don't think that that's a good idea either you're just going to go from sealing 
So my lid just moved a little bit. Hold on. You're going to go from ceiling. To, oh, it's not a lot in there. I don't know why my nozzle is loose like that. Either way, you're supposed to leave it locked until the pen drops. But there wasn't a lot in there. That's why my pen dropped very quickly. But I want to make sure. So if you're having any kind of trouble with your nozzle or whatever, make sure that that steel pen is not up. And you should be able to turn it safely without a struggle. If you have to struggle, it's still a lot of pressure in there. You have to be careful with that. Always have your head and your face away from the situation. You always want to protect yourself first and others around you if you're cooking with uh, anyone. I actually forgot to get my little tongs, so I'm just going to pop them on here. And I'm going to set them right in the ice bath. They say I have kitchen hands because I can touch things that are hot for seconds, Ooh, for a long period of time. But I can touch things that are hot, so I just kind of help it along. It doesn't really bother me. But always use safety first when you're touching hot things or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to move my Instant Pot. And now we've got it in the ice bath. And we're going to give it another five minutes. If, Like I said, if your machine doesn't count as my older one does or my other one does that's okay you just use your timer on your phone that's it and you're just going to make sure that it is sitting in some ice and it can cool down so we're going to clean everything off and that way we can continue you want to make sure that you're also making sure that you're cleaning your ring. Your ring comes out. Uh, I believe this piece comes out. I've never really moved that piece, but I have clean, taken out my ring and cleaned all in here because when you're pressurizing, stuff goes all over the place and wiping around the outside of your machine, inside the machine, just keep it clean and it will work for you and it will do things for you that you didn't know you could have done, which is a good thing because when you're timing, when your timing is important, everything is important. I hope everybody had a great holiday. And I hope that because of the past few years that we've been experiencing so much unexpected trauma, sadness, having to deal with things we can't control, uh, I hope that you were still able to remain somewhat positive and just remember as we go into the new year, that we got a lot of work to do here and here and physically, keeping ourselves safe. If you wear the mask or if you don't wear the mask, that's still optional. Everything is optional right now uh, for the most part, unless it specifically says that you have to do these things. And if it does specifically say it, please do it for your own safety and the safety of others. You know, uh, I know it's frustrating because this should have been done, this supposed to have been done, and but it's not. And that's the way we have to look at things. But we still have to try to keep a positive attitude that this isn't going to stop me from achieving my goals. This isn't going to stop me from doing the things that I dreamed I was going to do. That's what we need. We need to be able to encourage each other and keep going through this entire process because it's important that we stay positive and that we encourage each other. And going into the new year, I'm excited, but it's just been so much that you have to kind of kind of settle let everything settle as you go towards it because like a lot of people it was hard dealing with holidays for this reason or that reason not just because people don't celebrate sometimes it's just too painful around this time of the year and, and i respect that so much and understand it but at the same time i'm just still trying to remain positive throughout this entire situation i have worked the entire two years because we went into this what 2020 and we're about to hit 2022 so it will actually be two years that we've been dealing with things that we can't control and having to deal with the rules changing so much but at the end of the day you gotta do what's best for you and, and don't judge other people because they're doing what's best for them just try to protect each other as much as best you can i wear my mask i always have my mask with me and, and fully vaccinated or not, you still want to make sure that you're doing 
as best you can to protect yourself and protect others and hand washing and sanitizing your hands and all of these things are still in play nothing has changed it seemed like it did it seemed like it was about to leave us and it, it doesn't like cold weather it doesn't like hot weather it doesn't like this it doesn't, none of that seemed to be true it seemed to be total opposite it doesn't seem to have a time to leave it just had a time that it came and with that being said, as I said before, just, you know, do what's best for you and your family and trying to keep them safe. And as going into this new year, being optimistic and, and positive as much as you possibly can, because every day brings something every day. You, we're experiencing something, and if it's not you, it's somebody next to you or somebody close to you or the phone is ringing, and these situations just keep going. So we have to be uh, standing sturdy, so to speak, so that we can withstand the storms that are coming regularly. And it is possible to withstand it if we stand together and don't try to stand alone. My phone's about the time is about to go off, and we're about to check these eggs. And just remember, using the five 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 method with the eggs works for me. If it doesn't work for you and you try it and you say, uh-uh, I need my, more time, then adjust your timing and do it that way. And you should be perfectly happy with how they turn out. So I like to do boiled eggs a lot. I like I like egg salad. Um, I just want to feel the temps of them. They feel pretty good. They feel pretty good. I don't know how you guys crack your eggs. I usually hit it on the table and just keep it moving. But I did see that there are some peas that you can purchase. I wanted, I wanted you guys to see. I didn't want to make a mess. How easy it peeled. Boom. Done. All I did was crack it. I'm going to just redo it because I don't want any shells. Yep. I don't want any shells because I might have missed the shell. But that peeled so easy. I'm just going to take this knife because this is how I would do when I make doubled eggs. And you'll see. But I want you to see the inside. I want you to see that. Done. Done. 555 five, five does work. Give it a try. If it's not 555, five, five, it might be 777 seven, seven for you. But this is a perfect egg for me. I love it. Let me see. Let me make sure that you guys see that. Because I know all you want to do is start eating. Because I know I do. I haven't decided whether we're doing egg salad, deviled eggs, or whatever. And this is something great just to put back in the carton, market boiled eggs, and just eat them as a snack. Take a couple to work. Put it in your salad. There's a lot of things you can do with eggs. So, with that being said, I want you guys to know I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up if you like this video because I'm going to keep pumping until you guys are back on board with me and we're going to cook and we're going to do other things but right now that's where my heart is so that's what we're going to do so until next time thank you so so much for checking back in with your girl she will be back with another video peace